We're in WrestleMania season, and that means another Flo Rida song, shitty WrestleMania build, and more basically for basically more Flo Rida songs. Basically, all right, guys, I'm back with another taco video, <clears throat> and today I'm gonna talk about uh, WWE are the underdogs. This topic is WWE are the underdogs at this year's WrestleMania. Now, w now this year's WrestleMania, WrestleMania 13. Now, we're getting about, I think we're about two weeks away from WrestleMania, and I'm not even excited just yet, because you go into this year's WrestleMania for build-up for, I mean, this year's build-up for WrestleMania has been so lackluster, and I know you've had so many injury problems with the WWE, I don't know how you guys are going to pull this WrestleMania off, <clears throat> because you've already got John Cena, who, is, who has come out and said, uh, what I've said, heard on the internet, I don't know if it's true or not, but I've heard that John Cena's come out and said, "Oh, well, I'm not, I might not be able to work WrestleMania because I'm still injured." And you got Ben, you aren't still injured. You got Seth Rollins injured. Sting might be retiring. That's up in the air still. So at uh, this year's WrestleMania, there's a lot riding on this WrestleMania. This is make or break for the WWE because at the minute the ratings aren't that good. That's why they brought Shane McMahon back for WrestleMania because they know WrestleMania isn't going to be that good. So that's why they put gave Shane McMahon the Undertaker match this year. <coughs> that's why they. Have basically brought in AJ Styles really, so they could try to get some buys with AJ Styles, try to bring Shane in, so he could try to get some buys and ratings in. But I don't know. How, would I, even though with Shane and the AJ's, you know, ha, are they actually going to help the WWE? They probably are a bit at this year's WrestleMania, but not really much because you got big names out like Sting, John Cena, and I don't see any excitement like. Apart from the Triple H and Roman Reigns match, and probably the Dean Ambrose, and well, even I, the only match I'm excited for is at WrestleMania is the Shane McMahon and, and Undertaker match, really. And that's been built up decent, I guess. I mean, even that match hasn't been built up really good. But that's the only match I'm excited to see. And Jericho and AJ, that's had some good build to it. Uh, that's another match that's had some good build to it, but that's about it really. I've seen AJ Styles see Chris Jericho before, and I know we're going to have a good match between these two guys, but the storyline hasn't been that, that good between AJ and Chris Jericho, basically. Jericho's turn here, which is fucking awesome. I, I love when Jericho's here. I like him in his very face too, but you know what? This is good. That's going to be a good match, but I don't. I, there's no excitement. There's no excitement. At this point, at, the, at this point, of when it's WrestleMania season, you're supposed to get excited. You're supposed to be like, "Yeah, I'm ready for WrestleMania. WrestleMania party, woo!" And like, but this year, like this year's WrestleMania build up has had to be sucked. And in my opinion, I will watch WrestleMania and I'll give it a review. I could do every year, but I'm not looking forward to actually watching the show. And for WrestleMania, that is not good. Um, basically, because the Raw ratings are being shit right now. I mean, at, at, if WrestleMania doesn't deliver this year. Then there's gonna be serious, serious like money going down. Like pay per view barracks are gonna go down because WrestleMania's probably gonna stop this year. And obviously ratings are gonna go to fucking nothing anyway because they're nothing anyway at the minute raw ratings. So that doesn't matter. And basically WWE, I'm surprised that they're gonna stay in business after this year's WrestleMania because this is gonna be a make and break situation for the WWE because I don't see them making this WrestleMania successful. I mean last year was at WrestleMania was a good show because it was built up pretty decent. I mean you had the mid card sorted out, you had the main event, you had a storyline there, you had a semi main event with Triple H and Sting, you had Undertaker facing Bray Wyatt that had a bit of a story to it. So that WrestleMania was all covered and you had a bit of build up there. But going into this year's WrestleMania, you do I don't have any match I'm really excited for it really and that's really a disappointment. I mean if you're a wrestling fan <coughs> You're supposed to be excited for one match on the card and like, you know. But at this year's WrestleMania, I'm just not excited for any of those matches. Um, it's a real bad shame though. I mean, even the, the build up on Raw has been lackluster. I mean, look at Raw. Some of the matches we see on Raw have been subpar. I mean, I don't know. But here's ways that how WWE should fix it, okay. So basically, uh, WWE should just have Sasha, well, have Sasha Banks versus um uh, Charlotte which they which they should do anyway. That's the match I would have at WrestleMania. But I'm not telling you guys I am gonna do a video on that soon but like I said, this is gonna be a snooze fest. And if you guys wanna watch me 
um, sleeping when I'm watching Raw the video it, there you're gonna see me still sleeping soon oh my god it's gonna be so terrible guys but like I said WWE are the underdogs in this, uh, this year this week can WWE deliver leave your thoughts in the comments section below guys and thanks for watching guys break out